outdoor ceremony conducted indoors. Military members are reminded, reminded to remain covered and render appropriate salutes as courtesy to those around them. Please remain Please silence all cell phones and any other electronic devices for the duration of the ceremony. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Commanding General, Brigadier General Patrick Michaelis, the Post Command Sergeant Major, Command Sergeant Major Wilson Tavernier, welcome to the United States Army Training Center in Fort Jackson for the graduation of Echo Company, 1st Battalion, 34th Infantry, 165th Infantry Brigade. Please stand for the invocation given by Chaplain Timothy Stokes. This review is the last official formation of the training center. Not everyone successfully completes this difficult period of training. But those in formation today represent disciplined, motivated, physically fit soldiers who exemplify the seven army values. Loyalty, duty, respect, selfless service, honor, integrity, and personal courage. They are imbued with the warrior ethos and display the tenets of putting the mission first, never accepting defeat, never quitting, and never leaving behind a fallen comrade. This is an important day that can take great pride in their accomplishments. To the parents, families, and friends of these soldiers, Fort Jackson extends a warm and sincere welcome. We are justifiably proud of them and are equally honored that they have chosen to join our ranks. Please direct your attention to the left of the formation. The units marching today from lower left to right are the graduating soldiers from 1st and 2nd Platoon Echo Company, the battalion color guard, and the graduating soldiers from 3rd and 4th Platoon Echo Company. Located on the upper level and providing music and marches for today's ceremony is the 282nd Army Band, under the direction of Sergeant First Class Bradley Shaver. Identified by their distinctive headgear of drill sergeants, these dedicated, non commissioned officers form the backbone of the Army's training center system, selected on the basis of professional competence, leadership, and years of service. These men and women undergo intensive training to earn the rank of wearing their distinctive hat and insignia. With the drill sergeant hat, because the important responsibility of holding civilian men and women and soldiers. The commander of troops for today's ceremony is Major Edward Brown, who serves as the executive officer for the 1st Battalion, 34th Infantry Division. Major Brown is the battalion staff in positions on the field. Task. 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 Sound attention! The reviewing officer for today's graduation is the commander of the 1st Battalion, 34th Division, Lieutenant Colonel Michael O'Donnell. On his left is Command Sergeant Major Jonathan Duncan, Senior Non Commissioned Officer, Master Trainer, and Principal Advisor to the Command. Detach, present. Oh, Detach, present. 
Troops will now bring forward the colors and the persons to be honored. Go, person be honored. Sister, march. Serves examples to all. Sir, the colors and the person be honored are sent by the president. Present the command. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is appropriate for soldiers not in uniform and all armed forces veterans to stand and salute the American flag. We ask all others to please stand, move your head here, and place your right hand over your heart as our national anthem. <laughs> Soldiers most responsible for the training of these soldiers are the drill sergeants, who are carefully selected by the Department of the Army. The drill sergeant campaign hat badge has been a stoked symbol of professionalism and pride since 1962. At this time, the drill sergeant of the cycle worked for Alpha Company, 1st Battalion, 34th Infantry Regiment. Drill sergeant Kai DePuillo will recite the drill sergeant brief. I am a drill sergeant. I will assist each individual in their efforts to become a highly motivated, well-disciplined, physically and mentally fit soldier, capable of defeating any enemy on today's modern battlefield. I will instill pride in all I train, pride in self, in the Army, and in country. I will insist that each soldier seek to maintain the Army standards of military bearing and courtesy consistent with the high traditions of the U.S. Army. I will lead by example, never require a soldier to attempt any task I would not do myself. But first, last, and always, I'm an American soldier. Born to defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, both foreign and domestic. I am a drill sergeant. Lieutenant Colonel O'Donnell, Advanced Sergeant Major Duncan, now present the awards. The 
soldier of the cycle for echo country is specialist Christopher Acosta from Las Cruces, New Mexico. The soldier leader of the cycle for echo country is specialist Michaela Rosales from Gilbert, Arizona. Ladies and gentlemen, the commander of the 1st Battalion, 34th Infantry Regiment, Lieutenant Colonel Michael Brunel. All right, good afternoon. Third and last speech of the day. Welcome to a beautiful but rainy Fort Jackson, South Carolina. It's an honor and a blessing to have so many families and friends here supporting our graduating school. On behalf of Premier General Michaelis, Command Sergeant Major Tavernier, welcome to the graduation ceremony for your Eagle, Mecco Company, 1st Battalion, 34th Infantry Regiment. We appreciate you participating in today's ceremony, both here in the Sullivan Center and virtually around the globe. I would like to extend my gratitude to three very important groups, both here and online. Our veterans, our Gold Star family members, and our retirees. Your successes and sacrifices, both in and out of uniform, validate the importance of basic combat training. Your service and continued support to this great nation cannot and will not be overlooked. Please, if you are able and choose to, stand and be recognized. Oh my 
school. Well, why did they volunteer? Was it a sense of duty, a family occupation, or money for college? Was it to provide for their family? There's a lot of diapers with 38 kids. To test oneself or to escape a dark place. Whatever the reason, they now have one thing in common. They are U.S. Army soldiers. Since their arrival at Fort Jackson 10 plus weeks ago, I can report that your soldiers have learned and become proficient in the basic art and science of combat. They learned how to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. They faced both mental and physical challenges. They did this not by themselves, but under the watchful eyes of their drill sergeants and cadre. They did it as a team. Please join me in a round of applause for our soldiers, drill sergeants, and cadre.
Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the playing of the Army Song, the retirement of the club. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony. On behalf of the Commanding General and the men and women of Fort Jackson, thank you for attending today's graduation. Family members and friends, please meet up with your soldier on the floor and then exit the auditorium in a safe manner. We ask that you please remember to take all trash and personal items with you as you exit.